So Tyson, I've known you for a little while. Yeah. It's nice to see you in person. Let's see what you've got because this is cool stuff. You're doing some actually really good stuff. Yeah, so. it's a fuel vaporizer system that I designed. Um, what it does is it superheats the fuel. Um, I'm doing two things actually. I'm using like a cold vapor setup, which is where you suck air through the fuel to make an engine run and it pulls all the vapors off. And I'm using, um, I'm also using heat to vaporize the fuel using that. So it's a mixture of two things on this particular setup. And what it does is it leans the fuel out and brings it to a more volatile state so that it'll burn completely instead of being wasted out in, into the exhaust. Fantastic. So I'm able to increase the run times of engines and burn different types of fuels as long as I can bring them to their vapor point. Now you've, you've worked on your truck. Can you give me a quick mm -hmm. what you do to your truck and did yeah. it work? Yeah, the first thing I did is I actually did it in a 2006 Buick Rendezvous, a crossover vehicle. Um, and I did a cold vapor system to begin with on that. And yeah, it, it, it worked. Um, it worked all right, but it's really hard on the vehicle because of the variations of RPMs. While I was doing that, I discovered the hot vapor method because the fuel level in the container got below the downpipe and then the, the heat from my engine heated up the container and I was vaporizing it from heat and so that's where I discovered that and figured out that the heat works a lot better if you're on an engine that's a little bit more stable because you don't have to worry about all the bumps and the different things like that for it to operate. Um, so yeah, it did work. I was able to do a couple of test successful test runs uh, where I went 19.86 miles on about 12 ounces of gas. So, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I, those videos are on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. So I know you've had a really, really rough last day and a half trying to get this thing fired up. Uh -huh. So we're going to try to fire it up. Yeah. Is that right? We will. Okay. Have. And if it doesn't work, it's not that it doesn't work. It's just because poor Tyson's been... I built it like yeah. the day before I came. Exactly. So the poor guy's I been... I had a chance. Yeah, he's been kicking through it. So we're going to give this fellow a big break. But definitely check out his stuff because this stuff works. I've seen it. I have to get enough suction in there to suck the air through. Yeah, it's not wanting to stay going. My fuel regulator might not be working right. It's okay. I know you just constructed this thing yesterday. <laughs> my float valve in there's probably catching on the walls. Yeah. I'm assuming. No. It's all good. And this isn't up high enough. So. It's all good. I believe you because I've seen the truck. You've, I've seen the demos you've done. So yeah, I'm gonna. Shoot it's good a lot that you're working videos. on this though because this is something people can replicate for themselves. Yeah, so. exactly. Fantastic. Easy I'm looking forward to it. Tyson, I've known Tyson for a while. Yeah. So. Cool. It's nice to see you in person. Yeah. My wife, your wife and mine have been hanging out. It's kind of kind of interesting. Yeah. It's a good thing. So keep working on what you're doing, man. Absolutely. Hopefully I can help you share what you're doing because this stuff works. And yeah. I want to try it myself. Yeah, really. So you gotta give I want that, you to try you it. You got to get those details that I need, and I'll, I'll want to try it. All right. All right, cool, man. Thank Perfect. you. Yeah. Awesome. Woohoo! Jazz. Right. <laughs> that will work, dude. That will work. <laughs> this, this crazy guy right here. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, just, yeah. Something's in there. Well, Not sure who, but something's in there. In there. <laughs> <laughs> it's after I had